Hey everyone, Zach here. Welcome to the third video in this tutorial series, an introduction to Unreal Engine. In this video, we will set up our source control and connect that to our project. But before we start, I'm going to cover some key terms and give a word of warning. So first, that word of warning. I suggest that you do reading on source control. See the links in the description first, because for example, if you do not update your files before closing out the editor, you can lose your work. You need to send your changes to your source control at the end of each session in the editor. So what is source control? Source control or version control is a way to manage a project. It allows you to back up your project and store edits to a repository. You store your project in a repository. For example, in this video, your repository will be local to your computer, and the one I'll be linking to in the following videos will be online via GitHub. In this repository, you have something called branches. There is one branch known as the master or trunk. This branch is the base of the project. There are many different developer philosophies about how to use the master. But the overriding system is that any new feature should be written in a branch that is not the master. So what is a branch? A branch is a copy of the master that is split off, allowing for developers to work on a branch without affecting the master. And then finally, how do we send information to our repository? We do so by committing. Committing means to install your changes to the repository, be it to a branch or to the master. We can merge a branch into a master once the code in the branch is up to snuff. But always, always commit before closing out the editor. Otherwise, you may lose your work. All of that said, go ahead and open up a browser of your choice and your Unreal project. And let's get started. Now that we've gone over what source control is, I want you to either go to git-scm.com or using a search engine of your choice, look for git and then go to git-scm.com. On this page, you'll see a downloads button. Go ahead and click that. And then it should automatically detect the browser you're using. Go ahead and click that. And then go to the system that you're currently using. So I'm on Windows. I'm going to click Windows. And it should automatically detect the type of Windows I'm using. And it will download. If it doesn't, select from here the version you want to use. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and install it, but make careful note of where you've installed it to. Once it's done installing, resume this video. Once you've installed it, find where you've installed git2, and you'll see you have git bash.exe and git command.exe. Go ahead and click git bash. This will open up a command window, and in this window you're going to put in some lines of code. Now I can't do this part with you, but I can put the lines of code on the screen for you. I can't do this because it will create a global user, and I already have a global user account that I do not want to override. Therefore, as I said, I'm just going to put the lines of code on the screen for you. And remember, this global user is local to your system only. It does not get stored anywhere else. So the lines that you're going to want to include are dollar sign get config double dash global user dot username quote the name you want to use end quote once you've hit enter then you're going to type in dollar sign get config double dash global user dot email quote the username you want to use end quote it might ask you to put a password in, and if it does, when you type in your password, no characters will show up on the screen. But rest assured, it is actually taking that password. So be mindful that you put in a password you'll remember. If you want to confirm that you've properly set this up, type in 
dollar sign get config double dash global user dot name and it will return whatever the username is. Once you've done that, fire up your Unreal Editor and open your project for this tutorial. In the description below, I'll have some links about this code, so if you're having any trouble with it, go ahead and take a look at those links. One of them will include a tutorial video from Git itself, others will be forum information that might be able to help you. If you're struggling with it further, remember we have a Discord channel that you're more than welcome to join and ask any questions you might have. So go ahead, go through this, and then join me in the editor. Welcome back to the editor. As I mentioned in the last video, there are going to be some differences now. Now, you don't need to delete your starter content like I did. The only reason I've done that is I knew what material we're going to be using, so I went ahead and copied that over. You should leave your starter content and mess around with the material in there to see what you can add into the game. I have only deleted it, as I said, because I know what content we're going to use and because the starter content is quite large. And by removing it, it makes it easier to upload this to a repository. Remember, a repository is where your current version of the game is backed up to. So that said, let's connect our project to source control. And as you see up here, we have this source control button. Go ahead and click that, and then you'll see connect to source control. And then you'll have a provider. On this provider tab, click it, and you'll see we have a few options. You're going to want to select Git beta version. As I said, you're going to need to remember where you've installed it, not only to find your Git bash to set up your user, but to set up the source control login as well. So go ahead and click these three dots here, and it'll open up a file viewer. I know my git is installed inside my program folder, so I'm just going to go there, or program files, and I'm going to go to git. And then it's not one of these three I want, rather it's in the bin folder, and I want this git.exe. Once you've done that, it will show the root of your repository, your username, and your email. I blank these out for protection reasons on my copy right now, so you can't see it. But if you're not seeing the username that you've put in, or your email, Look at the description and a link. Look at the links in the description below, and ensure that you've gone through the setup correctly. You'll then have some options below here, such as add a git dot sorry a .git ignore file. This file removes any binaries that are automatically going to be included in any Unreal project. And yes, you do want this selected. You will also be given the choice of adding a basic readme file. This is completely optional. I am leaving one in. Then you'll be asked to make the initial git comment. So this is, says the initial comment. And I'm going to add in start, sorry, so I'll start correctly, start of tutorial project. So remember, a commit is what you are putting into the repository at the time including good documentation via these comments lets you know what you've done. So once you've set that all up, go ahead and hit initialize project with git. This will take several moments once it's done, but once that is all done, hit accept settings and it should connect fairly quickly. And you'll notice there is now a green sign here instead of that red sign. That said, from this tutorial forward, there will be a copy of the project in a GitHub repository that you can find a link to down in the description. Each lesson will have a particular link that is unique and will take you to the content related to that lesson if you want to see what we've done in particular in that lesson. That said, I hope you're enjoying the tutorial series so far, and now that we've done the quote unquote boring bits, we can get into actually building our game. If you've liked this series, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It really helps the channel out and gets the tutorial out there to people who might not know it exists. Also, if you want to see any special tutorials or anything unique, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And again, feel free to join our Discord community and let me know personally what you're struggling with or what you want to see. Outside of that, I hope to see you in the next tutorial, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day.